Hey guys. So the last one of these videos I did was my concealers. <laughs> and um, I said that I was going to start with my base products and then work my way through my makeup collection. Well, I totally skipped over primers. That's part of the base, right? That's <laughs> kind of the main important part of the base. Um, for me anyway, I like a good primer. Sorry, my hair is doing something weird over here. Um, but anyway, I love a good primer when I just need to make sure that my pores are really blurred and looking good. Yeah, I need a good primer. So, um, I know that my foundation shade is off from my neck. I'm very aware. Um, but you'll see a video on this at some point. So if it's not already posted, look for it in the future and you'll know why my foundation shades off. But anyway, moving forward, um, it wasn't on purpose. It just happened and you know, moving forward from that. But um, so now I'm gonna rank all of my primers from the one that I like least to the one that I like best. And again, they're in my collection. I like them to some degree. <laughs> Um, I'm also not a wasteful person, so I won't just like get rid of something, um, just because it's not my favorite. Um, now if it's horrible, I'm absolutely getting rid of it. <laughs> I don't need it in my collection. Um, but yeah, I'm not just one of those people who just throw it away if it's not that great or whatever. So, um, I'll give it away sometimes if somebody might like it, you know, somebody, I think somebody might like it better, um, uh, than me myself. So anyway, let's rank my primers from the ones I like least to the one I like the best. So here we go. First and foremost, I was so excited about this primer. I thought that I was going to love it and it was going to be like my new holy grail. Like I really thought that it was going to be that good, but I got it and I was just not impressed. And this is the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. It's okay. It's not horrible. Um, it is just like a little like it almost looks like Vaseline. Um, and it will, like, it'll do the thing with the pores. <laughs> um, like, it'll it'll smooth your pores for sure. Um, it's just very silicone-y, <laughs> if that's a word. And uh, I'm not into that silicone texture. Like, it just slips and slides all over my skin. Um, and I'm just, I'm not into that. I just don't like it. So, um, I just put it on one side of my hand. So, this side has the primer on it and this doesn't. So, you can let, see less of my pores over here than you can over here. So, it does work. It's just not my favorite and not one that I reach for all that much. I like that it's mattifying. That does, you know, cause me to keep it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's not my favorite and I, I have it in my collection, but it's the one I'm probably going to reach for the least. I'm going to go through something else before I go for this one. So it's okay. It's just not the best. The next one, I got this in a boxy charm and I've held on to it because I actually, I really did like it when I used it, but I just, I'll tell you why I don't like it. This is the Clarins Instant Smooth per Perfecting Touch. Um, it is a really cute little primer. I think I've used it once or twice. <laughs> um, so it has like this little, um, milky texture and it actually feels really nice it's i think it does have some silicone in it i'm not 100 percent sure i don't have like the ingredient list in front of me um but i think it does have a little bit of silicone and it does kind of do the same thing as the tart one it kind of slips and slides but it does it feels nice on the skin it does feel nice um and if it would hold my product a little bit better, I would probably reach for it a little bit more. And one of the huge drawbacks to this is just the component. Like I need something I can squirt out really quickly. And this, um, like it comes with a little spatula and I forgot to grab the spatula, but you can just like scoop out a little bit and put it on your face or like you can do it with your finger like I just did. And the component just kind of holds me back a little bit on this one. Um, so that's why it's ranked a little bit lower. I'm not crazy about it. And I still keep it just because I mean like, I'll probably use it at some point, but it's not my favorite. Next, I have this small little Marc Jacobs undercover. <laughs> I have this small little um, Marc Jacobs undercover blurring coconut face primer. And this came in like a little set that I got at TJ Maxx. So this isn't the full size. Um, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> I like a lot of the same types of primers for blurring and mattifying. Um, so it looks like silicone-y um, and 
it's basically the same thing as the last two. It just really makes my foundation slip and slide. Um, it does smell faintly of coconut, I think. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but anyway, it does blur my, my pores for sure. Um, it definitely fills them in. But I just, I slip and slide and I don't like it that well. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be one that I reach for a little bit less than some of my others that I like more. So, um, not horrible, just one that I don't like as much. One of the better primers I've used, and like I said, I'm, they're in my collection for a reason and I do love them. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this primer. Um, I just like some others a little bit more. <laughs> this one has like the makeup, uh, or the shine control aspect and it says it's pore minimizing i personally have not seen the pore minimizing i just haven't so it comes in a little squeezy tube like this and i just squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand well it looks like a lotion um so i'm gonna rub it in and we'll see i mean it might blur your pores just a little bit but not all that much so it's a shine controlling pore minimizing hydrating feel and it's smooth skin so it's nice and i like it there's nothing bad i have to say about it it's just um i like others better that's all this next one is my elf mint melt cooling uh face primer and i like this a lot i got it out with the mint collection that i got um and it's actually people compare it to the milk hydro grip uh primer they they say that it's like a dupe um for that and it's a green color. Should have showed you before I started rubbing it in, but it smells minty. It smells like vanilla mint to me. <laughs> and it's good. It gives like a tacky base. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit tacky. Um, so it gives a really nice tacky base for your makeup. And I like this a lot. I really do. There's a lot of these primers I cycle through. So there's not anything that I really hate. Um, there's just some I like better. And this is, this is a good one. I just like some others better. <laughs> but this is a good one, and I like it, and it's affordable. That makes it even better. Next on the list is this My Skin Perfector from Essence. It's a tinted primer, so it blurs, and it has a matte finish. This is the most matte primer I have ever used in my whole entire life. So if I'm going to use a hydrating foundation, I will use this <laughs> because it will dry you out, let me tell you. So, let me show you. I have the I have a shade in this one. It's light beige because they come in different shades. So, here's the shade. Um and when I first used it, I thought the um Oh, what was it? The foundation I was using, I thought that was the problem with it. Um but come to find out for me personally, this dries me up. <laughs> like I I feel like a dry skin person when I wear this Just don't wear this and then a matte foundation with it because then you're gonna be very very um, dry very very dry but it does it does exactly what it says it's gonna do it's gonna blur and it's gonna give a natural matte finish it's a very very matte finish um, but yeah it's it does have a velvety feel that's what it says and it, it really does like you can see a visible difference in your pores and I really like this um, but it is it's a good one it's a really good one next I have my rare beauty this is the uh, pore diffusing primer I like this it's not my best pore diffusing primer or pore you know perfecting primer <laughs> it looks like this it's like a little milky i guess um i like the component this is the smaller size um it feels really nice it doesn't it feels more like a gel on the skin than it feels like silicone i don't feel like it has any silicone in it um so it does feel really nice and i even feel a little bit of hydration with it um and it it's nice it really is nice i just like i'm not gonna have any pores left on this side <laughs> after putting this on my skin um but it it does feel really nice i just there's other things I like better, but it's still good and I will still reach for it and I'll still use it because um, I like it. I do like it. This one is one that I have almost used completely. This is the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Super Light Smooth and Blur. Um, the regular Super Light, I did not like. I, gave, I think I gave it away 
because I don't have it anymore, so I'm pretty sure I gave it away. Um, <laughs> so this one is almost gone, so I will squirt out just a little bit so you can see the texture on it. Um, it is like a lotion-y texture, but this will mattify and it smooths and it blurs. <laughs> so it's a very good primer. I like it a whole lot. I got it from BoxyCharm, I think, so I didn't pay full price for it. Um, and it is definitely one of the best primers I've, I've ever tried. Um, I love it. I think it's great, especially for mattifying your skin. Um, I've kind of, I've, I've gotten more into, I don't have to just have a mattifying primer. I don't just have to have mattifying products, period. Um, so, but I still love this for the mattifying properties of it. I think it's amazing and wonderful. And it is absolutely, if you are a combo or oily, <laughs> you need to try this because it's that good and I think I've seen it at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls before so if you find it definitely try this one it's the white <laughs> it's the white uh, bottle they have different colors like there's a blue there's a green I, I don't know all of them but there's there's different colors on the bottles so this one is almost gone like it's down to here that's how much I like this I've used it so much next we have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This I bought like kind of on a whim and I just wanted to try it because it was kind of like this fad that everybody was getting into. Um, it looks like very whipped in texture. It's like a pink, a little bit of a pink look to it. Um, it is really, I just, a very little bit goes a very long way. Um, but it's, it smells really good. It smells like marshmallow, <laughs> but it's, it's feels really nice on the skin. Um, it's very pore minimizing. I feel like, um, it has the marshmallow root. It just feels really nice. I feel like you even get some hydration from this one. So it's very expensive for a drugstore product. I will say that it's like $17. Um, so definitely, you know, it's one of those more pricey ones from the drugstore, but I do like it. I don't reach for it as much as some of the other ones that I like, but I do like this one and I think it's great. And, um, definitely, definitely pore smoothing. It's not going to mattify. It's not going to help keep you matte, but it is definitely pore smoothing and I do like that. This is another one I love, I love. <laughs> this is the Revolution Niacinamide Priming Drops. Um, they're mattifying at that and they are down to about right here. So I've used quite a bit of these. Um, it comes in a little dropper form. <laughs> so, um, it literally has a dropper and it's a glass bottle and a glass dropper and so this is what it looks like it's kind of milky on the skin um, and it literally takes next to nothing <laughs> with this one um, but it's very mattifying and they feel amazing and um, they are very it has like a very clean scent to them um, but they are absolutely um, like this was one of my absolute favorite mattifying primers there for a very long time i would use it constantly so it still is <laughs> um it's not um it's not like lessened in what i like um but it's just um i found others that i kind of like a little bit more so that's that's why I, I don't reach for this as often as some of these others but i do still love this and i think it's great this one is a little bit newer to my collection. This is the Milani Chill Out um, Soothing Primer Wild Oat Extract um, and Ceramides. It's silicone free. That is what drew me to this product. I was like, silicone free? Um, yes, sign me up. But also, <laughs> this is a very good dupe for another one I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but I just wanted to try this because it just sounded so amazing. So, it looks very Vaseline-like. <laughs> Can get that on there um like some of these other primers that do have silicone and so i was like oh this is gonna be very not what i want um but actually it's very very nice it has that cooling effect um it has like a satin matte finish it's a very very good primer i love this it blurs imperfections yes i agree <laughs> um and then extends makeup wear that's one of the best things about it is that i feel like it really does help prolong your makeup wear so um and it does have a like slight tingle it's nothing like crazy wild it's just a slight cooling effect and i really really like this primer um i need to try some more of milani's 
primers because they have a lot of good ones but this is the one that I like the best from Milani because it's my only one from Milani but um it's a really good one and like I said it's a dupe for what I'm about to tell you about in just a second this is the hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer I love this primer I just happened upon it and right after I did I um I saw that somebody compared this to the hydro grip uh, primer like I said with the, the mint melt so it has that green look to it and it's very tacky just like the hydro grip so um, you're gonna have that tack to your skin once you put that on you're gonna um, it's gonna help lock in your makeup this is really good to like grip on to makeup like on noses and chins especially when masks were huge and like everybody had to wear them multiple hours a day um this was a big big deal for people who still wanted to wear their makeup so it still has a tack to it um with all these other primers underneath it i don't know if that is gonna be very very tacky but um it boasts a 12 hour makeup grip and i have to agree i feel like it does truly work i I'm, I don't think I really wear my makeup more than 12 hours, <laughs> so I can't say it lasts longer than that, but I feel like it truly does hold up, and it's a good one, so um, it's very affordable, and that's another good thing about it, and I like this one, so definitely check it out when you get a chance. This next one is a little bit newer to my collection. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I like this primer quite a bit. It has a... Um, I like it quite a bit. I've only had it a little bit and look how much I've used out of it. Um, it has a green texture or green color and it is that poreless uh, putty primer texture. Um, so it is going to look green and that's going to help cancel out any redness on your skin. It kind of reminds me of guacamole, the green. <laughs> um, but it will help cancel out any redness and it is really, really a great primer and I feel like um, for anybody who would get, when I first started wearing the poreless primer, I would, um, the putty primer, I'm sorry. When I first started wearing the putty primer, I would get breakouts along like through my T-zone and stuff. And I would feel like it would come from the primer. So with this, I don't feel like I get that at all. Um, and it definitely smooths, definitely, you know, even skin tone, all that good stuff. And I love this primer. So it's very good and I like it a lot. Um, definitely a great addition to the poreless putty line. <laughs> Next is the actual poreless putty primer. I love the poreless putty primer. Um, this is a new one and I haven't dug into it as much as I have the green one, but I do love this and it is a really good one. I like it just a tad bit more than the green only because it's just that original pore feeling like I feel like my pores look totally snatched <laughs> with this one it has that like light pink texture or color and it has that same texture and it's gonna be like pores are a big thing for me like I like to especially on my nose I like to conceal my pores so um it's I feel like it's a little bit hydrating and it just is very very nice and I love it I think it's a really really nice primer and it's very 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 good <laughs> I love this um so if you need a good drugstore primer this I highly recommend and finally the elf um matte putty primer this one is definitely my favorite of all of them I'm not I don't have the luminous in my collection because I'm not a loomy girl <laughs> I like mattification um if I'm gonna be glowy I like it to come from like um um, highlighters and things like that so um, I have hit the bottom of the of the, the product um, that's what that's from I have a little fly around here um, so this is the white one so it's gonna of course look white <laughs> but it doesn't give like a white cast to your skin so once you rub it in the color kind of fades you know and it's just it looks really good and it truly is mattifying like I can see how matte it makes my skin and it conti continues to keep my skin matte and I just love this product I think it's a great one and if you need a good one from the drugstore that keeps you matte this is it this is the one you want so this is my Fenty uh, true matte pro filter priming <laughs> my true matte pro filter mattifying primer from Fenty I love this primer the um this Revolution Niacinamide Mattifying Drops. These are a dupe for this, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. Um, but this is like the milky color, the milky texture. I'm already down to here. I've not had this for very long, so that tells you how much I like it. It's definitely mattifying. Um, it's kind of like, 
a little bit more milky than the mattifying drops um more lotiony i guess um but it definitely keeps me matte for sure so like if i'm gonna wear the hydrating foundation from Fenty, i like to put this on and then wear the hydrating foundation um that way i'm kind of balancing myself like i have a matte primer with a hydrating foundation and that's just my preference that's what i like and next, this actually I like a little bit better than the matte one. <laughs> this is the um, Pro Filter Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. I love this primer. I've used it a little bit more than the matte one. And like I said, I just really love this one. It has like a pink color to it. Um, and it's definitely hydrating. It's a little bit more runny <laughs> than the matte one. But it's I love this primer. It just looks like your skin looks so plump and juicy <laughs> when you use this. Like I just think it's probably it, it definitely is my best hydrating primer and my most favorite. Um, and so I keep it readily available so that I can use it all the time. And it's it's really really amazing and so so good. So I'll wear this with the matte foundation and it's amazing. So so good um but yeah i love this i go for it quite a bit and it is definitely up there on my list we this is actually number three we're getting in the very top ones <laughs> number two is what i'm actually wearing on my face today so if you can look at my nose you can tell my pores are very filled in in my opinion <laughs> um they look very filled in compared to some days um and that is due to this primer right here this is the touch and soul icy sherbet primer i love this primer this is an amazing primer okay <laughs> like i didn't think i was gonna like it i wasn't crazy about it it was a choice for a boxy charm one month and i was like i think it was actually my last boxy charm that i got and i was like eh, i'm probably not gonna like it but i'm gonna choose it anyway and i did and oh my gosh i love it and i may have to repurchase this at some point <laughs> but it is just like a very um like the inside of it looks just like the outside <laughs> in my opinion um so it's like a very I don't, I don't know if you can even tell on my finger there but it's it looks like it's got a hint of pink to it and it's very vaseline looking this is definitely my most poor feeling primer and one i reach for all the time i love this primer one of the absolute best it also smells really good too just wanted to put that in there <laughs> And my number one, just because this is kind of going along with my high-end foundations, um, this is being discontinued, and this is absolutely one of my favorite primers. I just got a new one in um, because it's, they're getting rid of it, so I'm not going to be able to have it much longer. But this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte um, Skin Perfecting Primer. I love this primer. <laughs> I love, love, love this primer. It has a cooling feel. It perfects my pores and it's mattifying it has everything that I want <laughs> so it has this like um peachy color to it and it looks almost like toothpaste <laughs> um but it is so so smoothing to the pores and mm, I love that peachy scent I'm gonna miss it um but it's so good it's really really good and I think even that like peachy color um can be a little bit of a color cor color corrector um you know for those who need it and like I don't use it for that purpose but I, I mean honestly with it being peachy I, I think it could be so I love this I love it so so much whenever I have like a poor feeling or any kind of that primer <laughs> which is what I really tend to go for um I will put it like right here under my eyes as well just to help with those fine lines and this I just love I really really love so I have about half of this left and then I've got a new one that I just got in and then that'll be it that'll be all that I all she wrote <laughs> but um I really love this primer and it's so good and um I hate that they're getting rid of it I really really do I think that it's such a good one and absolutely hands down my favorite and one that I reach for so so often Alrighty guys, so there is the ranking of all of my primers. That is all of them. If I have one that I've used in a video that you don't see in this video, it's probably because I've given it away. <laughs> I give a lot of stuff to my mom. I give a lot of stuff to my friends. So, you know, I like to give away things that I don't use. Um, so if I've given it away, it either didn't work for me or I just didn't like it. So <laughs> if you're waiting to see one that you didn't, um, I made sure to go through everything to make sure that I had everything here for me to show you. Um, I don't have as many primers as I do like foundations um but I do enjoy a good primer and I do go through them pretty regularly actually um I have to replace primers pretty pretty regularly um as far as the primed and peachy I went through 
two or three of them already. This will be my fourth, I think. Um, so, I mean, like, I really like that primer. <laughs> I'm not just telling you that. I really, really like it. So, um, my hand is looking really good on the back here. No pores in sight. Like, <laughs> with all the, all those uh, primers on the back. I mean, like, I have really, you know, I've really made it look good today. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to show you the different textures. That way you would know because different primers can, they're like an extension of skincare. And I said that in one of the videos that I, I didn't think about primer because it is such an extension of skincare, but I do, I use primers for different things. Like I said, with the Fenty ones, like I'll use a hydrating primer and then I'll use a mattifying foundation, you know? So like I do try to keep those things in mind when I am doing it. Instead of using matte, 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 matte all the time, I try to think about, you know, what kind of finish I'm going to get and what I want throughout the day and the balance my skin needs. So, um, your skin's going to have different needs if you have a different skin type than me. So, <laughs> keep that in mind as you are shopping for a primer. Um, and don't let me sway you to buy a matte primer if you're a very dry person because <laughs> that's not going to really work out. Um, it's going to make you more dry. So, just like, especially that essence one that I talked about being so so drying especially if you're, if you're a dry person do not absolutely do not go for that one um but i do like it because it does keep me matte so that's one that i i can go for <laughs> i just have to use a little bit more of a hydrating foundation with it so um but yeah i'm i'm very very particular about products and i i try to keep in mind what i'm looking for and what you know the length of how i'm gonna have my makeup on you know if i'm gonna wear it for a full day i try to think about mattification and and all that kind of stuff because at the end of the day i want it to look pretty good so that's just my thinking <laughs> that's just me so um i hope you guys enjoyed again and um yeah i just enjoyed the i enjoy doing these videos i think you guys enjoy watching them too and i've got a good response from them so i appreciate that a whole lot um but i enjoy making them i enjoy going through my products and even some of them i'm like oh i forgot i had this <laughs> so i have to be reminded that it's in my collection and um you know that i need to get it out and use it so um sometimes it's good to do that and this is kind of like a very long drawn out version of a shop my stash so um you guys are getting to see my stash <laughs> um and maybe at the end of it we'll take the top pick from each category and do a full face maybe we'll do that um so yeah keep a lookout for that um but I'm very excited to keep these videos coming. I think next will be setting powder because that's just how I do my makeup in the order. <laughs> um, I think the hardest category will probably, probably be eyeshadow palettes for sure. I have a lot of them, a whole lot, a whole lot. <laughs> and um, probably like, um, lipsticks, lip liners, maybe those might be hard because I have a lot of those as well. So I'm very much a lip person. Like I, I just pick up lip stuff here and there and everywhere because I love it so much. So <laughs> that's, that's my thing too. So I just love makeup in general. Like I say, this is my thing and that's my thing. I just love makeup. I just do. I, I, I love to watch YouTube videos and get new ideas and stuff. And so whatever but I'll quit rambling <laughs> thank you guys for watching I appreciate you so much I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like it so I know that you like these videos and I'll continue to make them and I appreciate you for watching please comment let me know what your favorite primer is because I would love to get to know what you like too because if I've not tried it I might need to so thank you for watching I will link my romper down below I will link all these products down below as well and I am looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see ya bye Bye, guys.